we shall reflect on the life of Saint Irenaeus. Saint Irenaeus, father of Catholic theology, as he has been called, came from a Christian family living in Asia Minor, Turkey. In his youth, he had seen and heard of Saint Polycarp, Bishop of Smyrna, and disciple of Saint John the Evangelist. Soon after being ordained a priest, Irenaeus was sent to Lyons, then the principal city of Gaul, to assist his countryman, Bishop St. Pothinus. About the year 177, Marcus Aurelius being emperor, a most violent persecution broke out in Lyons. In that grave hour, the imprisoned priest arranged for young Irenaeus, who was still at liberty, to carry a message to Pope St. Eutherius, so as to acquaint him with the spread of the Montanist heresy. When he returned from Rome, Pothinus and many of his priests had sealed their faith in blood, and Irenaeus now became bishop of the sadly decimated flock. He was bishop of Lyons for some 24 years, and in that time succeeded in gaining many new converts to the faith and rebuilding the churches in Gaul. But he is chiefly known for his remarkable writings. Having studied the scriptures exhaustively and mastered both the Greek and Oriental philosophies on which the Gnostic heresies were based, he was able to set forth their absurdities and to refute their claims by Catholic tradition as well as by the scriptures. His immortal work against heresies was written in his native Greek tongue, but has come down to us in what is probably a contemporary Latin translation. Particularly interesting is his appeal to apostolic tradition, which he rightly claims had been best preserved by the Church of Rome the most venerable of all. Irenaeus can also be called the author of the first known Christian catechism for his book Proof of the Apostolic Preaching. It was a presentation of the doctrines of the faith for the use of lay people. Written in dialogue form, it emphasizes the recapitulation of all things in Christ, the new Adam, that Mary, the Theotokos, is the new Eve. The Eucharist is both a sacrament containing the real presence and the true sacrifice of the new law, and that the body will rise again. In the year 190, Irenaeus, whose name means lover of peace, facilitated the establishment of peace between Pope Victor I and the Eastern Churches in relation to the latter's refusal to confirm to the Roman practice concerning the Easter date. According to St. Jerome, St. Irenaeus died a martyr's death under Septimus Severus.